this is the chat app we are going to create. Here we have online user section. Here we have available rooms. Each tab represents a user. And if you wonder, I have three users here because I have two more um, tabs here. So if I open a new tab, you can see I have four users and it will immediately update the user list. If I close it, yeah, you can see it removed. Let's create a room here. If I click on create room, you can see it will immediately update the page without refreshing. So let's join a room, F I Z. Hello, I'm new here. Hey, I'm new here too. Yeah, and if a third person joined the room, he can see history of the chat. And also we have emojis here. Look. And yeah, this is the app we are going to create. Simple chat app using React and Socket.io. Let's take a look at the steps we have to follow. Download Node.js, download VS Code, download and install packages, build the backend, setting up Socket.io and the server itself setting up Socket.io in front end and finally build the UI, I mean the structure and the CSS. Let's go. All right, you can download and install Node.js from nodejs.org, download the latest version, and you can install VS Code from code.visualstudio.com and download for your operating system, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. All right, let's create a folder and open it in VS Code. I've already done this and let's create a folder for the front end, not a folder for the server itself. Create a file in it, call it server.js. Open a new terminal from here. If you can see this icon, you can just simply click on terminal and new terminal. All right. Let's go to the server folder and let's initialize this folder npm init hyphen hyphen y. Done. Let's install the packages. We need express for handling the server itself and socket.io, socket.io, and then nano id. This package will generate random unique IDs for us, we will use these IDs for the rooms. All right, it's done. Let's close this terminal and import the packages that we have installed. Const app require the express, express and call it as a function. Let's import the server from the HTTP module and create a server as the app. Let's define the port. We will run a server on port 5000. You can choose whatever you want. Let's import the nano ID object from the nano ID package. Let's import the IO. socket io and pass the server for the second argument we will pass a object we will set up the cores set the origin to all star all right let's define the users comes users we will store all users here and another object another array for the rooms all right let's go and set up the socket io io dot on connection we have a socket here all right let's listen for the me event socket dot emit for 
me event and pass the socket dot id what's this whenever the client connects to the server it can access to the socket all right when he is listening on me event we will pass the socket.id to the user we will send it back to the user okay and then we will push the users.push we will push the socket.id okay whenever the client connects to the server we will push the socket.id to this array here then we have to broadcast broadcast dot emit update users and pass the users this line of code here we are sending this users array to all the clients that are connected to the server all right and we can access it from front end by listening on this event on this specific event all right let's connect let's handle the disconnect event Like function here we have to whenever the client disconnected from the server we have to update this array here all right so let's find the specific user that has been disconnected from the server we have to filter the users users dot filter we pass the user we have to return the user that its ID is not equal to socket dot ID and by using this line of code we are filtering this array here and remove the client that has been disconnected from the server all right and let's broadcast another time socket.broadcast commit a new event here and call it update user update users just like this one and pass the users array all right we have to send back the updated list to the front end and finally we have to say socket dot disconnect we have to disconnect the user let's create another event here socket that emit get all users get all users and pass the users array we will listen on this event from the front end and we will have access to this users array okay Let's go and handle the rooms. Socket. Socket.on. Create room. From the front end, we will emit an event. Okay, we will emit an event called 
create room and we will pass data to this socket.onCreate room. Let's create a room const room. It's an object. We have ID. We will use nano ID for generate IDs for us and we have we can have five characters long for the ID. And the chat. I will tell you what what is this exactly in in the front end side, okay? After creating this room, we have to join it, right? Socket that join. The room here. And then we have to emit an event, get room, and pass the room. All right. And finally, we have to push the room to the rooms array. Okay, we are pushing this room to this array here. And finally, we have to broadcast socket.broadcast.emit update rooms. Update. Oh. Update rooms. And pass the rooms array here. All right. We need another event here for joining the room. Socket dot on. Join room. And we will pass a room from the front end to back end. We will pass this room from the front end to back end. And we have access to the room here. Because in front end, we have a list of rooms. And we can join any, any of them. Socket that join room dot id yeah that's it we just joined the room then we have to socket dot broadcast dot emit for updating the room updating the rooms update rooms and simply pass the rooms here We have another event here for passing the message from front end to back end. Socket dot on message, and we have the payload here. Payload. This is the object we are passing from front end to back end. Then we have to detect which room are we sending the message. So let's find the room. We have to look through the rooms array. Rooms.map. We have to find the room if 
room.id equals to payload dot room let's define a single chat to an object we have a message that is a message from our payload message and we have the writer who's the writer of the message it's payload dot socket ID then we have to say room dot chat dot push dot push the single chat this object here room dot chat as you know we have a chat array for each room and we are passing this single chat or single message we are passing this single message to the chat array of this specific room okay then we have to say io.2 by using this io.2 we are saying um, who do we want to send a message we want to send a message to payload.room we are sending message to this specific room that we have passed here okay and then we will emit the chat and pass the payload we will listen on front end for this specific event and we can access we can have access to this payload okay and finally we can run the server server dot listen on port and pass a callback function server is running on port this port here let's open a new terminal go to the server folder and run the server node server.js yeah server is up and running in the next section we are going to implement the client let's handle the front end open a new terminal here and go to the client folder client npx create react app dot hit enter i will pause the video all right let's enter npm start we have to remove many files here this one the logo report index.css app.test let's remove this and go to index.js and remove these lines of code remove this one let's go to app and remove the logo remove this h1 Okay, it's running on localhost port 3000. Hello, I'm here. Let's remove all the CSS and let's see what do we have here. Index.css. We have to remove this line of code here okay let's refresh it 
Hello, I'm here. Yeah, it's working. All right, let's close this. We have to install a package for handling the socket IO from front end. Let's go to client folder, npm install socket.io hyphen client hit enter while it's installing let's import the packages we have um, let's import react use state use effect and use ref from react let's import the io import io from socket dot io Hyphen client client. Okay, let's okay, let's hide this. And we have to install another package called emoji picker react. Let's go to client folder client npm install emoji picker react all right if you can see this javascript here click on it and type react select javascript react okay let's import the picker from emoji picker react okay let's define the socket io i mean the socket id socket id set socket id use state and pass an empty string Let's define the message and set message. Use state and it's an empty string too. This message is the message we are passing it to the backend here. Where is it? This one. We are using the message and pass it to the payload and we will use this here we will push this message to the chat array that we have defined in here let's see here we have a chat array in each row and we pass the message to the backend and we will get this in payload and pushing it in the chat of the room okay let's define the rooms rooms set rooms use state and it's an empty array can't users set users and use state it's an empty string too okay let's define join room set join room use state and it's false we are um, defining a variable here for um, saving the 
join the status of the user. At the first, the user is not joined in any room, okay? So we set it to false. Comes. Room. Set room. Use state. And the room is an empty string. Let's define the chat. Set chat. Use state. And the chat is an empty array. Make sure to set it as an empty array. And finally, we have show emoji, set show emoji, and set it to false. Okay. Let's define the function for handling the emoji um, picker. So let's define a function on emoji click. We get the event emoji object. And we will set the message pass the message and plus object emoji emoji object dot emoji whenever we click on an emoji this will update the message object or the message variable and it will add the emoji after the message okay all right now we are going to use use effect and pass the chat and rooms because whenever the chat or rooms array is updating we want to update the DOM, okay? Whenever we create a new room and we add it to the rooms array, we want to update the DOM and immediately it will be shown on the page. const socket equals to IO and here we have to pass the backend server HTTP localhost for 5000. Okay. In the use effect, we have to listen on the me event that we have defined here this event here socket.emit and we are passing the socket.id from backend to frontend and here in frontend we can have access to the id so let's listen on the me event and get the id and set socket id and pass the id here okay let's listen for the disconnect event disconnect and pass an arrow function and set where is the socket? Socket uh, disconnect. Okay. Then we have to get all the users. Socket dot on. Get all users. 
and we have access to the users array that we have passed here this one update users yeah and then set users to the users that we are getting from here so this code that I'm writing here is um, real time as you see in the demo whenever we create a whenever we open a new tab immediately it will update the list of users okay this is the initial value that we are getting from the server but this one here socket dot on update users update users we are getting the users too but here's a difference I will tell you now set users to oh users okay this one update users as you can see here um, yeah update users we are broadcasting it I told you in the backend section the difference between broadcast at emit and the em emit itself is in emit we have to call it we have to call get all users and then we have access to users but in broadcast we are telling to all available sockets that we have this users here so this one here is for initialing the users but this one is real time it will immediately check if we have a change here okay so let's go and get the socket dot on let's get the rooms get all rooms and we have rooms here set room to the room and we have another real-time code for the rooms here socket dot on update rooms and we have rooms here set rooms to the room and this one update rooms we are broadcasting it update rooms where is it yeah we are broadcasting it to all the available sockets but this one get all rooms is for initial value in the back end I forgot to write a single line of code here for get all rooms get all rooms and here we pass the rooms yeah this one is for initial value get all rooms but this one is real time because we are broadcasting it and we are telling all the sockets that we have this rooms here okay all right let's listen for the chat event the chat and we have a payload here set the chat to payload dot chat we are emitting this event from backend here io.2 we are sending the payload to this specific room here and we are emitting this event and pass the payload here and in front end we are getting the payload and set the chat to payload.chat okay and last thing in use effect we have to check if 
joined from is true if the user is joined in a room we have to say chat container chat container yeah we have defined a container here const chat container use ref and set it to null we will use it for auto scrolling the container of the chat whenever we send a new message um, it will automatically scroll to the bottom of the container okay so if the user joined the room we have to say chat container dot current dot scroll into view scroll into view we pass the object here behavior smooth behavior of the scrolling is smooth we can set it to auto but we are using smooth here and black we want to scroll to the bottom of the container we have end we have start but we want to scroll to the bottom okay let's move on let's define the functions that we have const send message Okay. Let me just close this. And yeah. Let's define the payload. Payload and set it to message. The room and the socket ID. Okay. This is our payload. We have the message, we have the room, and the socket ID. And set the. Let's emit a. Yeah, this is our payload. Let's emit an event here. Socket dot emit. The message, and pass the payload. This payload here, we are sending this payload to the backend on the message event. And as you can see, we are listening on message event in the backend and we are getting a payload that contains message, room, socket ID. Okay. After sending this payload to the backend, we want to set the message to an empty string okay we will use this uh, message in an input that we have in the chat container I will show you then we have to listen on chat event and we will get the payload Load, but I will call it payload with double D because I don't want to mess up with the other payload that we have here. We can choose another name for it, and we will set chat to payload dot chat. Okay set chat and then we can use this piece of code here this one chat.container for scro scrolling it 
to the bottom of the page, bottom of the container, we can choose it here. Whenever we send a new message, we want to scroll to down, yeah, set it here. And set emoji, set show emoji to false. Whenever we hit on send or enter, the message will be sent to the chat or the UI, okay? And then we want to hide the emoji container, okay? So we set the show emoji to false. Then we have another function for creating the room. Create room. We have arrow function here. We have to emit the create room event. Then we have to listen for get room. And then we have a room that we are getting from the backend. As you can see here, get room here. We are sending this room. At the first, we are emitting a event from frontend to backend. Socket that emit create room. Okay. And we are listening on this event from backend, create room. Then we create a room. Then we will pass this room from backend to frontend. And we have this room here. Um, we have to update the rooms list. So let's update the rooms. The previous rooms and the new room that we are getting from the backend. Then we have another function for joining in room. const join room. We pass a room and we emit an event here. Join room. And we pass the room here. Let's take a look at backend. Socket dot on join room. Yeah, this is it. We are getting a room from frontend and we are joining it in backend. Pretty straightforward. And set the room here to this room dot id okay and set joined room to true and finally set chat to room dot chat Okay. All right, let's go and implement the UI. All right, let's go and write some code. We have H1 here with class name of main heading. and say chat app okay then we have another h1 with class of my socket and let's show the socket id okay let's take a look here, refresh the page. Okay. A 
So let's refresh the server. Node server. It's running just fine. Refresh, yeah. What's your problem here? Oh, we have to set this to let. We have to use let instead of const because we are changing the uh, value. We cannot change a constant value. So let's run it another time. Node server.js. Let's see. Yeah. Every time I refresh the page, I get a new socket.id. Okay, we have an h3 here with class name of room joined. And here we are checking if the user is joined in a room or not. Joined room. If the user is joined in a room, then we have to show the room ID. Room. Else we will show this message here. You are not joined in any room. What's your problem? Oh, joined room. Okay. Oh. Yeah. We are checking if the user is joined in the room or not. If the client is joined in the room, we will show the room ID here. If not, we will we will show this message here. Let's see what do we have here. Yeah, you are not joined in any room. Let's move on. Here we have another conditional rendering. Let's check if the users, if the user is not joined in any room. Then we want to render this div here. We have a container here and we have users container. Inside of it we have an h2 with Last name of users heading. Inside of it, we have online users. Next to it, we have an unordered list with class name of users. Class name of users. And here, we want to look through the users array users.map and render each user and here we will return an li here let's return an li here and pass the key we can pass the user for the key. And inside of it, we can have the user. So if the user is equal to the socket dot, the socket ID, if this is true, then we want to 
add me here because we're looping through all the users if the user is equal to my username this socket.id i want to add this me here next to my id so let's pass this one okay if the user exists and the user equals to socket.id it means this is my username add this me here next to my name otherwise just show the user okay let's move on next to users container we have rooms container here we have rooms container dot rooms container inside of it we have an h2 with class name of rooms heading rooms heading we can say available rooms just like this Next to the H2, we have another conditional rendering. If the rooms dot length is equal to zero, it means we have no rooms, right? If this is true, then we want to render an H3 with class name of h3 what the fuck h3 here with class name of no room we will say no rooms create a room if this is true then we want to return this h3 here otherwise we want to render a list of rooms so we have an unordered list we have a ul here with class name of rooms inside of it we are looping through the rooms rooms.map each room we want to return an li okay we can have the key here we can pass the room for room.id for the key and inside of it we can have room.id of course we have unclick we have unclick here and we can pass the join room join room and pass the room this room is this one we have a list of rooms and we can click on each of them whenever we click on a room we will get that room and we have access to the ID and we can join the room easily nice we have a button container dot begin container inside of this button container we have a button with class name of btn inside of it we have create 
the room. So, and for unclick, we defined a function for creating rooms. We can pass it here. Create, create room. Yeah, that's it. Let's take a look. What do we have here? Create room is not defined. Oh, it's not capital. Yeah, let's refresh it. Yeah, we have a bunch of um, rooms here. So let's go and check if the user is joined in a room or not. But before that, let's join this room here. Oh, this is the online users. Let's take a look at available rooms. This is just generating no rooms, create a room. This is just generating lots of users here. We will fix it soon, but let's create on this room here. Wait, <laughs> come on, for God's sake. Yeah, I clicked the room so now I'm joined in a room. Okay. We will uh, we are rendering this one here if we are not joining a room. If we are not joined in a room, then we will render all this stuff. But we want to render something different when we are joined in a room. So let's define it here. If we are joined in a room, joined in a room we want to return this one. Yeah, let's zoom in. Here we have a chat container. This is our chat container. Inside of it, we have an unordered list with class name of chat list okay we have an ID here let's pass it here ID and set it to chat list then we have a ref that we define it at the top of this file here yeah this one the chat container we set it to this chat container. By using this, we are um, controlling this container and whenever we send a message, it will automatically scroll to the bottom of the this container. So inside of this UL, we have to loop to the chat. Okay, let's loop through the chat, chat.map for each item. This is the chat and this is the index of the item. So this is the chat, this is the index of this chat. So let's render an li here. Okay, inside of it, let's pass the chat. So here we want to check if the, this is a message, this is a single message, this is an array, okay? If the writer of this message is me, I want to render a me flag next to the message okay so let's check it if the chat dot writer equals to socket id 
it means I've sent this message. I want to render this here. Chat.message. And next to it, I want to say, say that it's me. Otherwise, just render this one, user, chat.writer, dot slice. I just want to show only five character of its ID. Here we want to check if the writer is me, then print this me next to my um, message. Otherwise, let's print this writer and we want to just show five character of five characters of the user okay not the full socket ID and we have to pass the key here the key is this index we can pass the index then we can have a class name but the class name is dynamic if the chat dot writer is equal to socket dot id it means if the writer is me then add this class chat me otherwise add this class name chat user let's save it yeah okay after this div we have a form for sending so let's see we have a form with class of chat form chat form we don't need action We have a class name here, chat form, and unsubmit. Unsubmit. We pass the event here, and we say e that prevent default. This is preventing from refreshing the page whenever we click on send or submitting the form. Okay. Inside of this form, we have an input with type of text. We have type of text. We have a placeholder here. Placeholder, your message. Your message. Okay. Then we have auto focus. Whenever we join the room, we want to autofocus on the input. Then we have unchange. Unchange, we can pass the event here. And set the message to e.target.value. Okay. And the value should be the message itself. Whenever we type in this input, we are updating the message, okay? And we immediately show it in the value. Okay. We have a button here. We have button. 
with class name of class name of emoji emoji btm inside of it we have emoji and let's pass an on click and define the type the type is button this is important just <laughs> trust me and set the type to button because by default the type is submit in a form so the type of the the type of the emoji button should be just button not the submit if we unclick should be the function that we defined set emoji set show emoji set show emoji to show emoji yeah whenever we click on the emoji button it will change the status of show emoji if it is if this is true it will set it to false if it is false it will change the status to true all right next to this button we have the send button let's define another button button with class name of send btn send btn inside of it we have send or unclick we have the send message function send message that we have created before so class name unclick and set the type the type should be submit nice after the form we have to check if the show emoji is true I mean yeah if the show emoji is true we want to render the picker picker this picker here is the emoji that we have imported here this one picker emoji picker react so in here we have to pass on emoji click we pass on emoji click this is the function that we have defined before so whenever we click on a specific emoji this function will be run and let's define styles picker style okay let's define the width the width is 20 percent of its parent display should be absolute display should be absolute set the left to zero left should be zero set the button to this value and finally we can change the color of its background background color and I will choose this one so 
let's see what do we have here let's refresh the page and let me just import the CSS here um, where is it yeah this is CSS let me just import it from my files and I will show you here where is the I put the link of the the style sheet you can download it and just easily import it this video is all about socket it's not about styling right I can just paste it here you can download the source the complete source I put the link in the description you can easily download it so this is the online users available room and let's go to localhost let's create a room another mistake here you have to define the socket outside of this function okay we have to define it outside of the app function and we made a mistake here we are updating the rooms but we are setting the room so set the rooms be careful <laughs> get all the rooms and we have to update the rooms not the room here we have to return it using parentheses and remove this one and I missed something here chat dot message in server file we have to write hello hello dot chat equals to room dot chat okay open the local host yes let's open the local host local okay let's create the room wv wv let's join it wv hello here okay let's see I've commented this out let's return it yeah come on local local let's create another room c5 five hello yeah we can see it's from EV from this guy and we can simply choose an emoji from this button yeah it's working just fine Hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe my channel comment down below the problems and the tutorial that you need comment it down and i see you in the next video